Hey guys, welcome back to Jojo. I hope you guys missed me, but do not fret, we have the Velocify M87 mechanical keyboard. Now this keyboard is more so targeted towards gamers who use Apple computers, but that does not mean you can use it on the Windows because guess what, I do not have an Apple. We are going to review this keyboard and I'm going to show you why it's actually a quite decent keyboard for your Mac computer. Most Apple computers you buy will either come with these scissor switches or rubber domes. As a gamer, I wouldn't mind recommending this to someone who uses a Mac, but as an enthusiast I could feel some inconsistencies which made them feel more linear than tactile, and not to mention that some switches felt scratchy at times. Alright, but let's skip all this boring crap and get straight to the point. No one likes manuals. Alrighty, so let's take this guy apart. I forget is the keycaps. The keycaps are a a very cheap ABS keycap. But in any case, they uh, do the job, and uh, after a couple of years of use, they'll start to shine. Back to it. Ugh, there's always that one missing screw, isn't there? There you go. Ah uh, yes, a very typical design. All right, well there's <clears throat> there's the PCB in its full view. As you can see, it's just a basic stock standard PCB with um, SMD LEDs, soldered in switches onto a uh, FC4 PCB. Now I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but on all these cheaper PCBs, sometimes some expensive ones as well, companies like to dodge corners when they. Uh, make these certain things so uh, as you can see there's residue marks where the soldering occurred white misty kind of looking things on the uh, PCB these are usually cleaned in a uh, cleaning process basically like a bath which uh, has not occurred and that's how they save money on selling you these uh, PCBs uh -oh. uh oh look what we found here so I'm not sure if you can see that right near the capacitor, but that is a literal solder blob just sitting just connected to this pad here by probably by flux and just holding it there. I'm going to take it out now. Something as small as this solder could easily damage your keyboard or your computer USB port by shorting something. Look how small that piece of metal is and that's most probably due to this last minute bodge job right here with the capacitor and this resistor. This guy also has a uh, metal frame so it can has some rigidity in it. Pretty good. I must say the brush metal on the M87 keyboard is actually quite decent for the price. The M87 really hits the sweet spot between aesthetics and the ability to even own a mechanical keyboard for a decent price. The lighting without RGB was a great choice, and I'd prefer it over something RGB that looks tacky. The M87 uses a TKL design to maintain as much features as possible but reducing space, and it is 100% compatible with Mac and Windows computers. You will only notice that the Windows key is switched with the Option key, which is kind of annoying. You also have the ability to choose several lighting profiles for your own aesthetics and setup, and you even have the ability to design your own through the keyboard's firmware just by using a couple key presses. And I really liked how the keyboard could be customised on the go rather than relying on third party software, which can be tedious at times. Now without taking off the caps, it was easy to see that some of the stabiliser bars would rattle a lot as there was no lube and quite evidently their design was different. There's one really weird thing though with, this, with the stabilizers in this one and it really freaked the hell out of me because I thought I broke the stabilizer but there's actual clips on the stabilizer then this clips into the stabilizer bar right in there and I'll show you probably a better a clearer picture but it works perfectly fine again so it's pretty smart but 
my thought on here is that it would wiggle a lot in these channels so it's it's a good idea just probably needs some lube in there or something to smooth it out and um, reduce sound the m87 also utilizes these weird rubber feet which flex a bit too much and causes unnecessary movement and the keyboard comes with a very reasonable 1.5 meter gold plated and yarn braided cable all right let's finish off this review so the m87 in my opinion is actually quite a good starter if you're just getting into mechanical keyboards as an enthusiast i'd say something completely different but not for this video it could need some improvement as i've highlighted you could actually do some mods with these like moving the stabilizers and um, some other mods i might make videos on in the future but for now i'd say that um, either a better option if you had the money would be to make your own mechanical keyboard which a guide might be coming up soon from myself including how to solder them um, but other than that there's some several other options such as a 60% and pro 2 which has recently arrived on banggood and other sites like that for a decent price but if you're just looking for something for your mac you can buy the m87 it's got the a nice Mac layout, it's got the necessary screen brightness and other functions that are typically related to using a Mac computer and you obviously have the command and option keys which I don't like but um, it will do the job. Alright guys that's the end of the review, if you like this review video please give it a thumbs up, if you want to see more of this content please subscribe, otherwise if you have this keyboard or you're willing to buy it uh, let me know in the comments below what you want to know and I'll be happy to answer them. But for now guys, yellow bye.